I'm Rifika Nadol. I'm a media artist and director. The dream was for me to understand what does public art mean and how I can, as a media artist, explore the uncharted territory of technology and its impact on our humanity. I wasn't inspired from recovering data and making understandable. I was much more inspired about making the audience aware that there is this data that we leave behind us. Like these machines, social networks, everything around us is recording data. But are we aware of this? Do we have the capacity of being aware of this? Since the beginning of my journey as an artist, almost nine years ago, I was very focused on how to tell the invisible story of data. With our tech house, our relationship started almost a year ago, and we have been always discussing about potential collaboration to really push the boundaries of technology and art. And this exhibition is one of the most exciting ones I think that our studio will be ambitiously working on. The space that you will be entering into is a beautiful boiler room, a space that has this science fiction feeling the space will have an 18-channel projection. I think it's one of the world's most exciting place to be in. We have 30-channel sounds, which is an enormous sonification of music and soundtrack in Mission Hallucination. Once people join the experience, I do believe they will be captured by the imagination of a machine. People will feel that they are there at that specific point in time, and hopefully that will enhance their imagination To make it happen, I heavily focus on architectural field of photographic archives. We downloaded over 100 million images. We focused on specifically all the available architectural era, Gothic, Renaissance, Contemporary, Deconstructivist, and many others, even the UNESCO World Heritage Buildings. And then the second focus was the architects. So we download all these images for the exhibition. This is a data set uh, from the modern architecture. Basically, we train a neural network with all the modern architects and their buildings. And what we see here is a called snapshot. Snapshot of a neural network. What it does is like tells us like where exactly it started to learn or like what kind of problems we are having. But I intentionally try to let the machine not learn exactly and, um, and try to always have this little bit capacity of imagination. I think it will be a, one of the most unique experience in the world that people will be able to witness how a machine can learn and how a machine can hallucinate. It's always the monetizing an idea culture, always trying to find the next hype. Right now, there are agencies who have been faking the stories by just even saying they use AI, which they do not. We are witnessing this kind of unethical issues, and I highly believe that our exhibition will be a counterpoint to educate what is a real AI project means and how it uses algorithms to narrate the story. Arctic House is one of the first examples of truly believing the artistic creation using technology and science. It's not very common that you can find a place where you have multiple channel of projections, infinite imagination, and a beautiful curated art experiences. This level of collaborations truly pushing the boundaries of art and technology, truly reinventing an idea, discovering a new ways of telling stories for humankind, is one of the meaning of being an artist. Art Tech House is a perfect example for artists like me and many others to imagine and to create something fresh. And we are letting people to witness how a space can learn and how it can dream by the help of AI. It's the future of cinema.